Given a table, what is the unit rate? Okay, so we're gonna skip a little in our packet. We'll go back to this, maybe on a rainy day. Tonight, apparently. I don't know, ask Siri, I don't know. All right, page 12. Page 12. I'm not for homework. I might give it to you, like, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, I like that. And Alex. Don't forget Alex. What are your topics this week? I haven't done. Okay, page 12. All right, oh no. Oh no, it's terrible. Look, the story, there's an empty box. Oh no, what am I supposed to do? We have to make, make it our story, own. Bro. It's not that hard. Okay. What do I give you? A story. A story. You give us a story. I gave you the ordered pair of 412. Oh, okay. That's the only piece of information I give you. Four, Given this, you can fill out the rest. Ten. Yep. Given this, just this little piece of information, I can do everything. We, we can't do this. We will, yeah. Okay. What's my unit rate? Three. How do you know? Because 12 divided by 4 is 3. When you divide, you put y inside and x outside. When you divide, you put y inside and x outside. You can also ask yourself, it doesn't always work, but what did I multiply 4 to get to 12? Three. Times 3. So therefore, my unit rate is 3. What you're multiplying by, that's your unit rate. So what goes next to the 0? 0. 1? 2? 3? 5? 6? 10? Okay, now we've got to come up with a story. Because in order to come up with a story, then I need to label everything and whatnot. So the easiest one is obviously um, money and like purchasing something. That's the easiest one. So your unit rate is three. I'm gonna say uh, four. Or just, or just four. <laughs> I, let's see, can even, ice cream bars. So you can change ice cream bars to something else. I like ice cream bars. Cost $12. <laughs> All right, ice cream cones. Mmm, waffle cone sounds pretty good right now. No, uh, I want ice cream, ice cream? Okay, so for ice cream bars, you can change ice cream bars to whatever you want. Cost twelve dollars. You have to write twelve dollars now. No. Yeah. Um. So what does X represent? Ice cream. Ice cream. And Y represents money. So now I can label this can ice. Cream for short, for short? Sure. Cost. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What do I go up on my Y? Three. Three's. Three, six, nine, twelve. Thirteen. Ooh. Okay, let's graph. Zero, zero, one, three, two. We okay. And our arrow. Now there's one thing I want to do before we start answering these questions. I want to know what the equation is. What's our equation? Uh, y equals 3x. Uh, second thing, that's 
Thank you. Correct. Y equals 3x. Muy importante for you to understand what the unit rate is. All right. Here's what I want to do. What if I tell you I have 73 ice creams? So I'm going to buy my ice cream. Okay? Like, uh, maybe I don't want you to answer these questions today. I want to answer this question. If I get to buy 73 ice creams, huh, how much money am I going to spend? A lot. A lot. Too much. <laughs> Too much. That's why I don't buy them. Okay. Now, 73 ice creams. Is that an X or a Y? 875. I, 73 ice creams would be considered an X, right? Yeah. Does everybody follow along? And the money okay. is the Y. Yes. So I'm asking for 73 here. So what you would do, now this might be super easy for you to figure out, which is great. I'm going to teach you what to do when it becomes harder. So if you have an equation, Y equals 3X, right? 73, does that represent an X or a Y? X. So let's say I don't know what to do. It's a hard problem. You would do is you would substitute the 73 for your X. So Y, which is the cost, which I want to know how much I'm spending, is equal to 3 times 73. Which is 24.3. Yeah, 219. So y is equal to because ice cream is my x. No, 73 ice cream. So if I bought 73 ice creams, I'm, I'm selling for how much money did I spend? I spent 219. So using my equation, that's what I do. Okay. I know, but I need that's this is why I said you need to. Follow along. We're going to use our equation. And that's why I asked, is 73 an X or a Y? We determine it's an X, so you plug it in this way. Now, for example, if I tell you, let me do the math first so I don't mess up. I wonder if we're going to do a test today. No. I mean, test this week. Yeah. 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 Okay, what if I, what if the question says, I spent $195. How many ice creams did I buy? Okay, so, yes. So, we're, let's pretend we don't know what to do, so we're going to take this problem. So, $195, is that an X or a Y? Y. So in my equation, and I'm not going to have you answer these questions, so you can like fill in the space over here. In my equation, y equals 3x. So 195 is correctly identified as y. So I'm going to plug in for the y, 195 is equal to 3x. This, I know you're like, why can't I just divide? I have to teach you why we divide. Why do we plug in these numbers in this certain situation? So when they become harder, you rely on your equation. So yes, you do divide by 3. So 195 divided by 3. So x is equal to 65. So that means six, I bought 65 ice creams. So depending on what they give you, they'll give you a story and they're like, well, if you spent... So they're not asking you for the unit rate. They're not like, well, how much does one ice cream cost? No, they're asking you, well, how much does like 75 ice creams? Or if you spent $200, how many ice creams did you buy? You're not solving for one. You're solving for a different amount. Using your equation, you can solve for them or using the unit rate. There's other ways you can solve it. This is one way. Are we okay? There's a lot. There's a lot. But, you know, it's not hard. All right, let's move on to page 13. Okay. 
Okay, page 13. I haven't decided what page I want. All right, page 13. I don't give you a story. I don't give you a unit rate. I don't give you a graph. All I give you is certain points, All right? So given that, you're going to find the unit rate. So for the easiest way to do this is to go, okay, 2 times what is 5? And you're like, oh, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6. Oh, no, it skips it. Yeah. So let's pretend, though, we don't know. We don't know. But you know, some of, some of the times when you're doing these problems, you're smart enough to just do magical math, and you come up with right answers. Fantastic. Some of us are like, wait, what? Well, you divide. X goes outside, Y goes inside. Miss O'Malley, how do I know which one goes where? It goes in alphabetical order. X, Y, Z. I'm not starting from the beginning because I messed up my alphabet. X, Y, Z. Yes. Yes. Not in seventh grade math. So pick any combination. You can do 2, 5, 4, 10, 6, 15. I would go with the smaller numbers, right? I like this combo, two and five. So where does the two go, inside or outside? outside? Outside. Not because it's smaller, but because that's your x. What number goes inside? Five. All right, divide it out. Five. That is called your unit rate. unit rate. Where else does that go? Where else does your unit rate go? On the table, where does it go? Sorry, let me be more specific. Next to the one. Okay? So if you're always wondering where's the unit rate, your unit rate can be located next to the one. When you graph it, it would be next to the one, right? One, 2.5, 10. Wow, I went blank there. All right. All right, what do we want to say? What would be our story? Bananas. <laughs> you what bananas, you can cut them in half. Okay. Oh, no. okay. And all we can do is strawberries. <laughs> no, bananas. If you cut the strawberries, you get to see all What about eggplant? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> but what are you making X and what are you making Y? <laughs> So one banana costs two dollars and fifty cents. Yes, that wow. makes sense. It's what? really organic, and this is in the year like three thousand. So <laughs> fruits are really exotic. What? Mr. Riley, what should I do? I'm gonna put a mango. Way, what should I do with mine? What's two fifty? What costs about two fifty? Uh, I could go two fifty dollars or two point fifty. Dollars. Are we, it's the same thing, remember? No, it's a ruler. Yes, it is. Two fifty is two point fifty. Why not? Two point fifty. Paper is two point fifty. Oh. Paper packet. All right. Yeah. No, I know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 Cost two fifty gallon of milk. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you are more than welcome to change this to a pack of gum, like Eddie said, to whatever you want. Okay, can we move on? I need your equation. What is my equation? Y equals 2.5x. Right? All right.
Here's the question I want you to answer. I mean, we're not answering these because I think I think you're good on those. You should be good. So my question is, if I spent forty dollars, how many gallons did I buy? So that's the question I really want you to answer. If I spent $40, how many gallons did I buy? If I spent $40. Now, $40, is that an X or a Y? y. That's a Y. So using my, if you need to use my equation. 16. It would be 40 is equal to 2.5 X. So then I would divide by 2.5, divide by 2.5. So x is equal to, and then of course, you'll probably get a calculator for like these type of problems. So it would be 40 divided by 2.5 equals 16. Um, Jeffrey, how'd you solve for it? Did you divide or did you do something uh, different? Well, I looked at the graph mm -hmm. and I looked at 20 and then I saw that it was 8 and that's half of 40. So I just times it by 10. On the graph here or the table? This is a graph and this is a table. The graph? Because I just, I just looked at it, because I was too lazy to look at the table. Okay. So I just, I just looked yeah. at it, and then I times it everything by two. Got it. Because it's done. I looked at the table. When I made up the story, I saw that this was 20, and I'm like, oh, if I double this to 40, then this would, would be so just 16. Why don't you just make a whole new problem? Whole new problem? Hmm? All right. Are we okay? Yeah. All right. Next problem, what's my unit rate? Um, yeah, did you do any math? No. no, so sometimes they're really nice to you and they give you what the one is. So whatever the one is, that's just your unit rate. No math involved, that's it. So can you fill out the table, adding 550 each time? You can go on the side and go 550 plus 550 if you want to, if you need to. Oh, meant to do that. Good thing no one was paying attention to me. Wait, what? Nothing? Go again. Next to the zero. Eleven. Whoa. Next to the zero. Oh, zero. <laughs> Next to the two. Three. Three. Sixteen point fifteen. Sixteen point five. Five. Thirty-seven. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven point fifteen. Eight. Forty. Forty. Eight would be forty-four. It would just be double the twenty-two. Because yeah. if I do four times two, I get eight. So 22 times 2 is 44. That would be the easiest way to solve it. 32. It's 44. All right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 5, 50, 11, 16, 50, 22, 27.5, that's 5, 6, 7, 8 is 44, 5, 6, 7, 8, you can skip it, I would skip the 6, the 7, and the 8, then 0, 0, If you're being, if you have that, I can have to send you the nurse. Okay. okay. And then I could ask you a bunch of questions like if this was about, oh, one, 
Frappuccino costs five fifty, right? Yeah. Makes total sense. Okay. So if I buy two Frappuccinos, that would cost me eleven dollars. If I spent forty four dollars at Starbucks, oh I spent forty four. That means I bought eight drinks. So they can ask you like a thousand questions based on this information. And that's usually what they do. They'll ask you a ton. Okay, oh what's my equation? That's five point five X. Make sure you have your equation. Super important for you to have your equation there. All right, let's see. So on, in about a month, let me see. In one month, so four weeks from now, we're gonna be taking our last map. Which is okay. Let's work quietly on page fourteen instead of interrupting the teacher. It's not like I was saying anything important, but you know. All right, page fourteen, kids. 